the world of work is changing rapidly. It is driven in large part by technology change, by globalisation and, of course, the growth in Asia. As a result, new business models emerge, some businesses grow, other businesses decline. But underpinning all of this is the fundamental question, what does it mean for the skills and capabilities of our workforce for the future and how do we plan for this uncertainty? And that really that's what this report attempts to do. Industry will need a more highly skilled, more capable workforce. Naturally, it will be larger. It will be between 14.1 and 15.1 million, as opposed to 11.5 today. More than 70% of this workforce will have a post-secondary qualification, as opposed to 60% today. Professionals and managers are projected to, to occupy some 39% of the workforce, as opposed to 35% today. And almost three quarters of the new jobs will come from healthcare and social assistance, professional scientific and technical services, and education and training sectors. It also tells us that the demand for qualifications each year will rise between 3 and 3.9%. This implies an annual growth of approximately 3% in tertiary qualifications through to 2025 is required if we are to avoid skill shortages and have the type of workforce we need. Now, how do we prepare for this? As I mentioned before, the report really sets out to do two things. It tries to give a rational view of what the future workforce might look like, but then it also tries to attempt to set a pathway in place for how we might get there. I mentioned that we can't predict the future, but what we can do is to help ourselves prepare for those. Remember, 50% of Australians change jobs within five years. Business require new skills, technology changes the way we work, and to manage change and make the most of these future opportunities, we need to be able to prepare our people and the workforces to respond in a flexible and creative manner. The board would feel that our best defence is to have what we've called an adaptive capability. And this means ensuring that our system of tertiary education and workforce development is itself adaptable and able to support individuals to embrace the new world of work. Governments cannot make this happen by themselves. Industry must continue to provide leadership because ultimately workforce development occurs in the organisation. And now it's my pleasure to pass this report, if you like, to the Minister. Uh, I think the report uh, highlights what is not, not something which is an option for Australia, but something that over time uh, is uh, uh, absolutely necessary. But is it achievable? Well, it will need to be achievable. It will need to be achievable, uh, otherwise we'll start to, uh, to lag behind. So they're the sorts of issues that over time, and we're not talking about you know, a 12 month time frame here, we're talking about uh, a medium to long term framework that the report is talking about, and the sorts of things that we're going to need to implement.